welcome to Little Flower School presents uh, this OBT class of grade 8 and yeah we have a story top 2 unit uh, 1 lesson 4 up to lesson 4 I don't think there is any doubt um, about any sort of professional professions uh, related to health related to agriculture related to veterinary okay so today we'll be discussing about the relation five and which is related to the profession and human resources related to finance so finance here what does finance mean so we need to understand that one so finance itself has a meaning that finance is a sector which is related to the fund which is related to the management of the money so when the organization is opened whenever any organization is open that may be the hospital that may be the teaching sector that may be any institution so all the sectors are open just to own the profit yes somehow it is open to gain the uh, to provide the service to the persons also to the public also but also the main objective is to own the profit and to sustain its um, organization to sustain the employees to make the employees happy to supply the uh, service to the public so that one is the main objective of the any organization so finance is the backbone of any organization and finance will be helping uh, the study related to finance will be helping an organization to run it smoothly to operate every management effectively so the main objective the main objective of this lesson is that after starting this lesson, you'll be able to mention the human resources related to finance. You'll be able to differentiate between the audit. Uh, in audit also, there are different types of audit. That is the two two different types of audit are there. That is the internal and the external audit. So you'll be able to differentiate between the internal and the external audit and the internal and the external auditors. So another is the finance management. And also you'll be able to uh, point out the rules of the finance manager. Next one is the uh, introduction. So what do you mean by finance? So we need to study this one also. So finance is a sector related to economic activity of any um, business or vocation. That means whatever the fund related activities, whatever the um, money related activities will be there, then that is related to finance of any business or any institution financial management is very important in each and every sector such as education health agriculture trade and business etc moreover financial management is necessary in the planning operating and evaluation phase of any business so here what does it mean financial management now you need to understand that when there is a financial management then only there is there will be the proper effective uh, effectiveness of any organization or any business to run smoothly so if there is no any financial management if uh, there is no financial manager who will be able to manage the uh, evaluate or distribute uh, the money properly or the fund uh, to the respective fields then it will be very hard for an organization to sustain and to run smoothly so therefore there are various professions and professionals in the financial sector and it has a wide scope in all over the world because without money without any financial um, support none of the organization will be able to sustain if you are uh, if you are thinking of opening some of the business also then you need to know about the finance you need to know about the financial management you need to know about the audit you need to know you need to hire the employees and you need to uh, hire them as the auditors also so what does that mean what will be their work how will you allocate their work it's not only giving the money and giving the salary it's not only that so beside that also what sort of work are to be divided to the different employee of an organization so that one is very much important and that one also comes under the financial management uh, or the overall organizational management okay so this um Okay, there are various professions and professionals related to finance that are accounting, accountant, auditing, auditors, financing, executive, uh, chief executive officer, finance management, finance manager, etc. Among the various human resources related to finance, the description of an audit um, and the auditor and the finance management and the finance are to be studied in this lesson. 
okay so in this lesson we'll be studying about especially about the auditing and the finance management okay so if you are thinking of uh, opening some of the business or running some of the business uh, then you must be able to know about this sort of technology technical terms and which comes under uh, finance and the careers in finance so finance careers so how many different types of career are there you can see here there are so many different types of career and scope you can find if you take uh, the management also up to now we have studied about science right so besides science if you are um, uh, if you are if you are the se graduate or if you are currently going to graduate um, the se uh, then you will be um, given to choose an option for either a science or management or humanities you have the three different option in especially today's context most of the uh, today's generation most of the um, students will be taking the two options um, that one is the one is the science and another is the management and under management sector we have all these uh, different career option okay so this career option is very 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 important you might have your uh, father or you might have your mother who are doing the accountant job you might have your um, someone relatives who are doing the banking job or the who are in the insurance you might have some person no you in your family or in your relatives some persons are will be there who who are directly or indirectly related to financial careers and it's not only about the organization if you think about your home if you think about your own house if there uh, someone will be there who will be managing the financial um financial condition of your house that may be your mother that may be your father if your father is working and father is just bringing the money uh, giving salary to um, his wife and wife will be maintaining all the financial situation of the house where to spend where to allocate the money where to what to buy so that sort of things is also um, comes under the financial management so it's not only about the uh, organization it's like a practical behavior it's like a skill that we need to develop for ourselves for our life so you might have uh, known about the financial management when your mother or your when your father does it uh, you might have known about it if not then you can ask how the uh, financial management is done in your house because it is needed for your life too okay so in context of the financial career, uh, careers in the academic sector we have the retail banking we have the accountancy and tax we have the management consultancy so management consultancy it mainly focuses on the um, counseling or giving the advice of how to uh, do the proper management of the organization and this one is very emerging subject okay most of the people doesn't know don't know about it but uh, this one is very emerging subject and next one is the corporate law and another is the uh, compliance and risk and another is the actuarial so this actuarial is different one so what does it mean i have written here an actuary um, is a business professional who analyzes the financial consequences of a risk okay so financial consequences of a risk means what so there are so many risks involved while operating a business so while operating a business you might have risk of loss you might have risk of if somebody will compete your business suppose you are a owner of a coca cola factory right if you are a owner of a coca cola factory then your competitors will be there your competitors will be there like pepsi cola you know that pepsi cola is there who is the competitor of the coca cola so if you are the owner of Uh, coca cola and the competitor has come who is the uh, owner of the pepsi cola and he is just competing with your product then what what happens it happens that there is a risk of the market failure there is a risk of the loss how the loss will be there because the competition is there he will be selling his product in a uh, less amount or small amount then what is hap what does it happen uh, there may be the risk of uh, getting the market failure so it happens um, in every organization in most of the organization this sort of thing happen without competition no any uh, development will be there so competition is needed but uh, it may have uh, risks to some of the business also so 
actually is the that person that financial professional that business professional who will be analyzing the financial consequences of that risk so if that market failure is done then what sort of financial consequences that business have to suffer so that we need to understand and that is the job done by the actuary i think you know this right now you understood actuaries use mathematics statistics and the financial theory to study on certain future events especially those of the concern or concern to insurance and pension program now you can see so he uses mathematics and statistics up to now we have um, just learned mathematics and we don't know the real value of it no but now you can see here there is a use of mathematics while we are doing our uh, real life job also and there is a value of statistics also so it's very important uh, up to now whatever the subject we have studied we have to study it very carefully to understand it deeply and to understand the um, proper value of it we need to have the proper uh, information and knowledge about the all these things all the subjects that we are studying another is the insurance so the career uh, in the insurance is also very wide uh, in Nepal, in context of uh, developing countries like Nepal, insurance has a very high um, demand also and uh, the professionals who are related to insurance, maybe the insurance agent will be there. So these all professionals are working very hard uh, for doing various sort of insurance. There are different sort of insurance uh, that, that maybe the life insurance will be there, non-life insurance will be there. So next one is the trading. And another is the fund management and the last one is the investment banking. Okay, these are the finance careers which are related to the finance. Another also I have written here career options in finance. So again here also investment banking is there, investment management or the asset management. Okay, here the asset management you can see here. What does this asset management means? Now the asset means property properties you know you understand the properties right properties doesn't mean that one is uh, black handsome one is white beautiful that's not like a property property means like a land like uh, furniture uh, whatever the asset you have that one with the valuable products okay that that one is the valuable things uh, if we sell it also you'll be benefited with the money so that one is the asset so it's about the asset management Next is the commercial banking and equity resource and there is the corporate finance and risk management. Okay, so here it comes. The very important uh, topic of this lesson, audit and auditor. What does audit mean? So audit refers to the systematic process of examining variety of data related to financial activity of an organization. It helps to check whether the account systems have been regulated and managed as per the law or not. So now, um, okay, let me give you an example. So every time, once a year, uh, there will be the auditor there will be auditor who will be uh, going to each and every institutions um, every business forms and they will be uh, checking the auditing they will be checking the financial um, situation of that organization so financial activities of that organization they will be checking every data why they will be checking because if that uh, organization is doing any sort of fraud or false activities then that will be um, totally uh, evaluated that will be totally analyzed so uh, this organization in in every organization auditor is very important he plays a very important role uh, and he plays the main important role is that he will be helping to regulate the financial activity of an organization and also he will be regulating whether that um, that management that business is according to the law or not Similarly, an auditor is a professional related to finance who examines the accounting system and the financial management reports prepared by the other professional of the organization. So, auditor is a um, person who will just audit the uh, financial activities of an organization. Audit of our 
audit of an any organization is classified into internal audit and the external audit hence the internal auditors and the external auditors are the professions related to auditing okay so this one is about the um, internal and the external auditing uh, this one will be starting it tomorrow